So if you haven't been keeping up with Doors, well, you missed out on this really big update that is currently available in the game called The Back Door. Now, the devs did say that this is going to stay. So after the hunt is over, this is going to be a dedicated game mode. You can play anytime you want. And it's kind of cool because this is like a prequel to the lobby. So you know how there's essentially a room one? Well, this is like 50 rooms previous to the lobbies. And as part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock the Curious Lights Rift, also known as the Starlight Rift or Golden Rift. This is a second rift that you can use to put a second item for your loot. So if you want to be able to have a couple of crucifixes, I'm pretty sure that works. And you can always use those in future runs. So I've got Aaron in here. I also have Zombie. We're going to run in here and then we got to complete the back door. Now the back door is pretty easy. I'm going to kind of walk you through this whole process. It's hard at first and then it gets really easy. Like we really don't lose anymore because we know exactly what to do now the whole goal for the back door is to try to escape without running out of time so you have a timer and you want to make sure you don't let that timer get down to zero before you escape if it does then haste will catch up with you and kill you but he's not going to really catch up with you because he's going to be heading straight for you from the end so uh yeah keep an eye on that timer so you have to go get the key in here similar to the first uh room indoors just grab that. And we got a minute, actually. I thought it was two minutes, but now we have two minutes. So those levers give you, I think, between 30 seconds to a minute. Also, these are vials or starlight vials. I'm going to explain what these do in a second. But uh, also, there's some entities in here that you got to keep an eye out for. So obviously, Haste, he's he's uh, basically the main boss in here that you're trying to escape on time. So you can't be in here for too long. Um, you can extend your time by the, you know, pulling these levers. But uh, here's Blitz. This is a new Rush style entity. He's basically like a little brother of Ambush and Rush. Um, he can come back. He doesn't always come back. But uh, yeah, you you got to watch out for him. I'm going to explain that in a second. Also, you want to have um, for this one, if you're going to try to unlock the new Rift, the second Rift, you do want to try to get as much coin as you can or gold as you can. Um, you need at least a hundred or at least just strictly a hundred. You, you don't need more than a hundred. You just need a hundred to be able to pay for it at the end. And I am going to explain all these entities in here. I'm taking some damage and stuff. Um, as I go, I'll explain those in a second. Um, so this guy that you keep seeing is the look man and he's kind of like eyes. Um, but man, this, this room is really crazy. Oh, here, here blitz is coming back So see that he turns red when he comes back. Now, from what I understand, and I haven't tried this yet, but from what I understand, see the, the vial, the starlight vial I have right now? If I have that and I use it while Blitz is in his mode, he won't kill me. But I, I haven't tested that yet, but that I'm, I'm, that's what I've heard. Um, now, when your timer starts running out, of, you know, like down to, I think it was like under a minute, it's going to start making this like really panicky sound. Um, yeah, he's so annoying. But uh, once you start getting under a minute, it's going to start panicking. Right now we have a minute, six seconds. You're going to see it because we, I, um, because we're going to, we're going to run out of time. Oh, that's the look man right there. Or look man. He's just like eyes. Just don't look at his face. If you look at his face, you take damage. Here we go. It's starting to panic. Yeah, it's panicking. So. Here we go. We got Blitz coming. Gotta hide. There we go. He's probably gonna come back. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, you can hear the panic now. Watch. Hear that. We gotta go find another lever. Also, don't go into rooms that aren't uh, marked with a sign like thing. Oh, we got the lever. Okay, we're good. We just got some time. Um, don't, don't go into the, uh, rooms that aren't marked because they might suck you in. Um, you can avoid that if you back off. So if like, if you, I, I'm not going to show you this, I don't, I, I we're going to avoid it in this run, but if you go into the door, it's kind of like dupe. Instead, you get sucked out into the void and you die. So don't do that. Just stick with the labeled, you know, the rooms that basically have like plaques on them and you should be fine. Man, he chews up so much time, though. So, 
So Starlight essentially does a couple things for you. One is it heals you for 25 and it gives you a slight speed boost. Apparently you can stack these so it goes over your max HP. I haven't tried that yet. Basically you get an overheal on it. But what I've been told, it, it also works on like ambush. So a rush, ambush, as well as blitz. If you use this, you won't die. You just take damage from them. So I haven't tried that. I might try a separate video on that. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. Like me just using these, you know, vials to survive ambush and rush. But uh, sounds kind of like something I would want to do, you know? Man, this gets kind of... It's kind of crazy. So there's the look man. There's Blitz. Blitz I already showed you. He's kind of like Rush. And then um, there's Haste. Um, Haste is really the guy you're trying to, you know, avoid. Um, I don't really show you him in here because that's not the point of this video. But uh, you don't really want to meet him. But you probably will if you play this mode because you need to keep an eye out for those times your time is going to run out. And especially when he's trying to attack you. Oh, shoot. He almost came back. We're good. There's another vial. Um, There's also curious light. Curious light uh, you don't really see unless you die. And then um, we're going to use this vial just to get a little speed boost here. So it gives you a nice little... It's kind of like uh, taking vitamins. But we need this. We need... There we go. There we go. We got time. We got time. Gave us an extra minute. The time it's going to give you is at the bottom of the lever. Now, I did hear rumor that the devs are going to make this as part of like uh, some kind of modifier or something for the main game. This sounds pretty cool. Saw a tweet about it. But we got to hide. So I've got a hundred right now, so I can afford the bottle. And apparently the bottle will give you 50 HP. Now, the downside is uh, with this whole like Starlight Rift or Curious Light Rift, um, if you put an item in it and then you take it out, you lose the Rift. So you kind of don't want to do that. You, you, you know, take stuff out of the maybe the other Rift. So if it's something you want to permanently keep or not permanently keep, maybe you just want to keep long term. Uh, just put it inside the gold one. And then if it's something you're going to use a lot, like a crucifix, maybe put it inside the permanent one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we so we made it. We just need to buy this guy. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to go back to door one. See, you'll see zeros on this door because this is like essentially the 50 doors before the next room, which is the lobby. So just go into skip intermission. We're going to get this little animation. And we're going to go into the lobby. So we're in the lobby now. If you turn around, you'll see like this weird door there. That's essentially the portal that we came through. And we got to go to the next room. But that's kind of crazy, right? It's curious light portal. Now we just have to survive all the way to room 100. And then we need to bring this bottle all the way through. So I need to get enough coins or gold so that I can afford a crucifix. Now they did make some changes to regular doors as well. If you, you're familiar with the Hotel Plus, you know, the previous runs. I believe they buffed. I could be wrong, but I believe they buffed Figure because he acts a little different. He's more aggressive than, be, you know, before I died to him two times when I was completely quiet. I think the they increased the radius maybe. They also added clocks to the rooms because of a dread. So dread 
Threat is like this new um, entity. It'll attack players once an hour has passed in game and the door 13 has been opened, but door 14 has not. So it's like this secret thing that you can unlock if you really want to. I don't know how many people are gonna wait an hour for Dread, but I mean, it's kind of a cool Easter egg in the game. You get instant death unless you crucifix him. So you apparently you can crucifix him. I haven't tried it myself because that's a long time to have to sit in the lobby um, or at least within that area. Now, um, it has to be after door 13, but 14 has not. So you got to basically uh, hang around in door 13 for like an hour. That's probably why there's a clock in the game. Maybe just as a clue, but everyone kind of figured that out already. He's kind of like this white and blue weird looking face guy. I got to do a short on this one. We, I, I'm going to have to do it no matter what. Unfortunately, you don't get an achievement for crucifying dread or even experiencing dread, but uh, apparently he's kind of like haste. Now, the cool thing is, is if someone dies with obviously one of the starlight vials um, or bottles, you can pick it up and use it. When you um, open the rift, the second rift, it kind of it kind of takes your bottle away. So you can't store the bottle like you're not going to get a second rift and then be able to store the bottle. It consumes it and then it makes a new rift. It's kind of annoying. Now, one of the things that I um, did here is that the clocks on the walls in these rooms, um, they kind of tell you like how long, how long you've been in the game so far. So if you have the uh, minute hand, if it goes all the way around and it turns midnight, then you know it's been an hour. So it's just a way for you to be able to track your time spent in the game and whether or not it's midnight. So we've been in the game less than five minutes. Oh man, we already got ambush. Dude. I mean, at least it's not like the crazy ambush we had to do with the doors, uh, April Fool's thing. Which, speak it up, I have a feeling they're gonna do April Fool's. I want an April Fool's update. All right, one more. All right. I'm pretty sure he's done. Mm, yeah, I think he's done. All right. Oh, wait, no, he's not done. That's so close. Man. Is he done now? Yeah, he's done. He's done. Come on, give me stuffs. Yeah, money. I need that crucifix. Oh, apparently uh, Rush and Ambush can now spawn inside of the uh, seek rooms, which is really annoying. It used to be safe. So you got to kind of keep an eye out for any blinking and listen for Rush. Um, also, you remember, um, unless you were doing the modifiers that you used to be able to look at the key for dupe. Well, now the key always gets scratched out. So you can't look at the key number anymore. They basically nerfed it. Or, yeah, essentially they nerfed it. So now it's even scarier. All right, just need 60 more for the crucifix. We got Seek. Hold on, hold on. We're going to we're gonna let Aaron go up. We're going to hang back here. It's time to chase Aaron. Mwahaha. Yes, we will chase. Let's go, Seek. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> oh, man, I wasn't even crouching. What the heck? Man. By the way, I hope you got that Hotel Hell uh, badge already. I'm sure the game's harder now because with all these changes, it's already hard. It's not that bad. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Stupid screech. There's Rush. I feel like they should add blitz to the regular game. Um, I thought I was keeping count. I think that was a miscount. I thought we were on 46, but apparently we're on 47. <laughs> Aaron got jump scared. <laughs> I'm the one that got jump scared. Dude, I thought the next one was 47. I was keeping count, but apparently I wasn't. I think I was just kind of zoning out. I'm going to need a band-aid and band-aids. That's fine. Let's just go in. I'm gonna take a left. The zombie's gonna take the right side, and we're gonna get this done. Yeah. Figure figure's been kinda OP lately. There's a book. Oh, look at oh my gosh, he scared me. He looked at me. Did you see that? He detected me, I think. I'm pretty sure he detected me. The way he looked at me as soon as I came out there. Yeah, he, he killed me twice where he would never have killed me before. That's four, one, two, blank, blank. Four, one, two, nine, blank. Went for the last one. Four, one, two, nine, six. 
There we go. Done. Let's get out of here. All right, crucifix. I don't. I think. I think that's all I have enough for. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. El Goblino, dude. He's got to say new stuff. We need to get an update for El Goblino. He's so out of date. Man, it's been a while since we got a good update. I do like this update, though. It's pretty cool. It's just not enough. But they need more. We need variety. Like new maps with the, uh, you know, haste guy. It'd be fun to have haste in here. Is he coming? Hello? There we go. Dude, that was a delayed rush. Would have been cool if you could use a uh, bottle of starlight as a light. That would have been OP. Like, you just hold the bottle out, and it just lights everything up. We gotta find the lever. Nice screech. Where is it? I hate being in the dark. I don't have a flashlight. Guiding light, help. I'm glad this is not a speed run. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Found it. There it is. Let's go. Oh, we didn't get a skeleton key. Man, no stuff for us. Oh, ambush. We're just going to stop him right here. Hell, ambush. No, you die. Go away. Yep, he's gone. Man, I, I should pop vitamins. Forgot I had him. Starlight's such a cool item. Um, Wait, wait, what number? What number? Oh, no. I don't know what the number is. I don't hear any growling. Yeah, it's got to be this one. Not a fan of halt. By the way, if you don't know how to beat him still, just back up when he tells you to turn around. Go forward when he tells you to turn around again. You just just copy what I'm doing. It's real simple. Don't try to turn anywhere. Just okay. Just back up when he tells you to. And then when he does that, just go forward again. Go back. Go forward. Once you understand this, he's the easiest entity in the game to beat back. Someone's going to get out before me, I think. Yep. All right. I need a band-aid. Dude, they need to make an item that you could purchase inside the elevator that you can jump scare your friends with. It'd be so great. Like a fake screech. It would be funny, dude. Dabs, if you're watching this, you got to make that happen. That'd be so funny. Whoa, I got, I got pushed. Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Oh, no, zombie just killed Aaron. I don't think it was intentional. Let's see if they have a revive. Oh, they have a revive. Oh, no, zombie took their, their bottle. Oh, no, dude. He didn't mean to. Um, We'll have to do another run for Aaron. Big rip. He took her vial. And the problem is, is if he goes inside the next room, then, like, he can't revive if he dies. So, but she needs it. So he's going to do it. He's just going to, he's just going to die in here. Cause this is alt anyway. He doesn't really need it. It's too bad. He can't drop stuff. That'd be so cool. You should be able to drop things like backspace to drop would be nice. Oh wait, let me fix my quality so I can see. There we go. He's going to die to eyes. Yeah. I think rush is coming. Yep. Here comes rush. There he goes. Wait, what the <laughs> what the heck? Wait, they both died. No, they both died. I can't take two of them. You can't pick up more than one bottle. So let's use this one. And let's just pick it up. There we go. Gives us a little boost. Okay. Let's jam through here. We got screech. Any rush? No rush? No rush. This is like easy mode. Yeah, I guess no more. Oh wait, here he is, here he is. Dude, he came up fast. That should be it. All right, that's the last of them. All right, let's just get this one done. I need to get this rift. Let's let figure out. Here we go. And Go get the fuses. I always just go to the right. A lot of people do different stuff. I just go in here and he he stops chasing me. Grab these. Another one right there. Got four. Five. Alright, we're halfway. Alright, let's go over here. There's six.
Um, I hear it, but I think it's on the other side. So we need four more. All right, he's going around. There's seven, eight. There's nine. Nine's right there. We got 10. There's 10 right here. All right, we got them all. Are they coming around? No, we're good, we're good. All right, so we're gonna head straight down right now. So we don't, we're not gonna wait until we open the thing. So let's go down real quick. We'll use our bottle. There we go. And we're going to put a vial in. See, the bottle itself is like holding the rift open. It's kind of weird. So we'll put that in. And I don't know. Should I put... Should I should I put my lock pick in? Mm, I might do it. I wish I had something else to put in. So like if they had died in here, I could have put up um, another bottle. Or at least one bottle. But imagine like two crucifix in here. That'd be so cool. Might have to do another run. Let's go unlock this. There we go. Since we got a moment, let's go. Um, let's just at least put my lock pick in just so we can see how it looks on the other side. Even though I don't have a good item for it, I still want to put something in it. It's a free item, you know? All right, we'll put our lock pick in. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Super cool. All right, let's go do the puzzle and beat this. We're going to go escape this. We're going to do another round um, so I can uh, help Aaron with hers. And I also want to see if I can put uh, something better in. Come on, figure. Waiting for dude. All right, one down. Let's go. Uh, let's go check it out on the other side. Oh, we're running out of time already, dude. We're already running out of time, and Blitz is gonna bully us. Come on, dude. Oh, he's still going. All right, we got it. So we're gonna go back to the lobby, and now we got to make it to the end again. Why does it sound like I just died? That was a weird. All right. Okay, here's the rift. That's so cool. Look at it. There's two rifts in here. There's a vial, and then there's the lockpick. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and take the lockpick out, because the whole idea here is we want to put something else in it. Although, I just realized, I wonder if I had placed that in, would it have replaced it? I don't know. I don't know if you could store a bottle. I You have to be able to store a bottle. All right. We're through, figure. Now we got to go see if we can buy a crucifix. And I got 840 coins. Let's buy that. And let's get the skeleton key. Let's tip. Don't forget to tip. Jeff's cool. Dude, where's the rooms? There's no closets. There's no closets. I'm going to hide right here. Rip Aaron. Oh, man. She didn't hide. Dude. She doesn't have any revives. I, I don't, man. This whole point of running this was to get her to the end again. Yeah, you got to hide in the corners, man. Well, um, I'll take the flashlight. I'll take that. I'll take the vitamins. I'll just leave her bottle there, I guess. All right. Back to figure. And uh, we're going to get through this real quick. And then we're going to just place this item in. Put the crucifix in. So let's go ahead and put this in. It's gonna create a second rift. There we go. Now opens it. Now we're gonna put the crucifix in. So I think I'm gonna try to get another crucifix later and put two crucifix in. That'd be so cool. They're definitely setting the stage for the floor two update or the mines. But that's it. We got it. We got a flashlight too. We're gonna blind figure. Ha ha ha. Get blinded, get blinded, get blinded. <laughs> go away figure. You think it'll scare him? I don't think it works. It doesn't work, man. He's still out there. Thought he'd be afraid of light. L, 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 L. Anyway, that's it for us. Let me know if you get the Golden Rift or the Starlight Rift or the Curiosity of Light Rift, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's calling it something weird these days. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy grinding. Peace.